guys, this is Miss Mayer, and I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to draw yourself as a South Park character um, in many steps. So this tutorial is going to cover the entire character. You can break this down per day. You don't have to sit here and do this all at once, but I am going to take you from the beginning through the end. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to get some reference. So if you search South Park characters, you'll start to see some images. These are the four main characters of the show. They have others that look like this. This is the one I want to use um, just because we have a lot of uh, variety in the types of hair. We have a lot of variety in um, their gear. So whether you want to draw yourself with a hat or a hood or um, a little beret here, we can do some glasses and we're going to get to all of that. So I'm just going to copy image by right clicking and then you're going to open up Illustrator and go to create new and I want you to select letter eight and a half by eleven make sure it's on inches and hit create. And as we go through this you guys can pause if I'm going too fast um, but just make sure that you're setting up your Illustrator file correctly first. So what we have is an eight and a half by eleven. We call this an artboard. It's your white piece of canvas right here. And the tools that we're going to concentrate on are our shape tools over here, which we've used in our Penguin and in our Pathfinder lessons. We're going oh, just say cancel. We're going to use the tool below the T tool, which has the rotation and the reflection tool. We're going to use the pen tool. And then, of course, we always use the black arrow and the white arrow to move our selections. As far as our palettes to the right, you want to keep your Pathfinder tool open. I like to keep my color tool and also my swatches. If you don't see this in your version of Illustrator, it's okay. Depending on what version you have or what preference you have selected up here, I keep mine on Essentials. That's what I'm accustomed to you're going to have different palettes open. The way that you find your palettes is under Window, top right here. And as you go down, all of your palettes are in alpha order. So if my Pathfinder was not open, I would just click here, color here, swatches here. Okay, so you can always open these. So now that we have our workspace set to what we need, we want to bring in our reference so that we're not drawing from memory. So as you remember, we just hit Command C and we copied. So I'm going to do that again, just in case. So copy image, and then I'm going to go into Illustrator and hit Command V because I am on a Mac. You would hit Control V if you're on a PC. And I'm going to zoom out. Zooming out is Command minus. Um, and we have a lot of reference here. The first thing you want to do is you kind of want to say, well, which character do I look the most like? Like, what would help me the most? I'm going to make myself, and then I'm also going to show you how to do different types of hair and different accessories as we go on. But for right now, I'm going to choose this character right here. Okay. Um, and I'm going to kind of put my reference up here so that it's out of my way and off of my artboard. Um, and then I'm also going to make a copy of this. Command C, Command V. I'm going to bring this down. And what I want to do is I just want to crop her out. And the way you can do that, this is not a mandatory step, I'm just showing you, is you draw a shape. I grabbed my box. I'm going to draw it over her because that's what I want to show. I grab my black arrow. I select the box and the image and I hit command 7 and that makes a mask. I'm going to put her off to the side. This way she's nice and close as we're drawing. So the first thing you'll notice about all of these characters, unless they're the adults, um, most of the children have round faces, okay, except for poor little Cartman over here. So they are perfect circles. And that's what we want to make our face because that would make us look just like a South Park character. So we're going to go into the shape. We're going to hit the ellipse tool. Now this is a very important step, my friend. Hold shift. 
As you hold shift, your circle will be perfect. Now if I let go of shift, you can see I start to get oval shapes. Hold shift and then let go. Now we have to colorize this. If you go over to your swatches, they give you many colors. There are many different skin tones in here. I'm sure if you play around with these, you'll find something that's close to your skin tone. If you cannot find your skin tone, um, you could always play with the sliders here as well to get something that looks close to your skin tone. And then another way is if you take this eyedropper tool and you can just pick up colors. So I went over to her skin tone. See, I'm picking up her, her clothes, her beret, the red mitt. So it basically picks up what you click. I'm going to pick up her skin tone. I think her skin tone is pretty close to Ms. Mayer's. Um, so we're going to go with that. So the next step are the eyes. And if I zoom in on the character's eyes, this is what makes a South Park character a South Park character. So they have these egg-shaped, tilted-in eyes where they look kind of spacey. And that's what we're going to give all of us. No matter if you wear glasses or not, you're going to do this step. So we're going to go back to our ellipse tool, and we are going to draw an egg shape. Now with this, you want to get pretty close in size to what you need. Look at the proportion of her head to her eye and that's what you want to match. So the color will pick up the last color you use, so for me it's the skin color. What we want to do is we want to fill it with white with no stroke, because you see their eye is white, no stroke. So you can come down here to your swatches, and this is your fill, this is your stroke. Whichever one is in front is the one you're filling. So right now my fill is in front, these same controls are over here to the left, and I'm filling it with white. Now I want to keep no stroke. If I wanted a stroke and I selected any of these colors, as you can see, the stroke changes. When you want no stroke, like we do, you're clicking none with this red line through it. So that is going to give us this circle shape and put it in front of, your, of the head. Now you can see the original one, their eyes are tilted in a little bit. So we need this tool, what's called the rotate tool. And this is found behind the scale, reflect, and shear tool. So depending on how your illustrator is set up, you may see one of these, but you want to click rotate tool. And as you can see, the circle is highlighted. I'm going to rotate this in to mimic that shape. Then I'm going to go back to the black arrow, deselect. I'm going to current, see if I have the right size. And this is kind of what makes it, because if your eyes are too big, it's not going to look like it. And if your eyes are too small, it's not going to look like a South Park character. So try to get this ratio correct. Then we're going to go back to the ellipse tool, and we are going to draw a small, tiny, little pupil on the left-hand side. And then we're going to go back into our color, make sure that the fill is in front, and we are going to fill it with black. Let's deselect. Looks like I need to make this a little bigger to get the proportion right. That looks about right. Now, as you can see, the second eye is exactly the same. So we're not going to redraw it. We're just going to copy it. So you're going to select the black pupil. You're going to hold shift and select the white part of the eye and hit command G as in George. That's going to group it or control G if you are on a PC. Now this group moves independently. Okay, so we're going to hit command C for copy, command V for paste. And now we have two identical eyes. The problem is our second eye is facing the wrong way. So we're going to go back to where we had our rotation tool and we're going to select the reflect tool. And once you select the reflect tool, just click on it twice and it will open like this. And you want it to be vertical at 90 and it shows you which way it'll mirror. Once you hit OK and then go to your black arrow, you will see that you have two eyeballs here that are exactly the same that are reflecting. 
okay? Now, to me, these little black dots are way too close together, so what you can do is we can move them, and there's two ways we can move them. Now, we grouped these, so to be able to move just one thing, we have to double click, and you go into what's called isolation mode. And up here, you'll see isolation mode. And now I'll be able to just one, two, three, and maybe one down. And then you click up here to get out of isolation mode. Again, same thing on this side. And let's see if that looks better. Yep, that looks a lot better. So now if we zoom in, you can see there's a little line between both eyeballs. And we want to put that in. So you're going to go to your pen tool, and you're going to click, release, click, and scoot so that you have this little line. Now go back to the black arrow, and it will be selected. Now we don't want to fill it with black. We want a black stroke and fill it with nothing. So there is a double-sided arrow here, and if you click it, it swaps the color. I'll do that again. Click it it swaps. Click it, it swaps. And I want it so it's filled nothing, black stroke. So now our eyes are complete. What we want to do next is we want to do the mouth. Now if we go up and take a look at all of the mouths, they're pretty much either like this, or if you find some other reference, they're open like this. And you can basically do all these shapes with the pen tool. Um, I will do both so that we can see both right now, but I'm just going to copy image and bring it down here, paste the image. So the first mouth I'm going to do is what's on the, this character right here. And that's easy. You grab your pen tool, you click, you release, you click your other one and you kind of scoot it so it looks like they're pouting. Then you have to click the black arrow, make sure that this is selected, and then give the stroke a black stroke. And that's an easy mouth. The other mouth is also done with the pen tool, and you're kind of free drawing it. And it's kind of shaky, it's not a perfect triangle, and it looks like that. And then you fill it with black. You deselect it, you go back to your pen tool, and then you have to draw their, their teeth. And you can kind of draw them separately with your pen tool, making sure that they're filled now with white. Deselecting with the black arrow and going back in and drawing each tooth individually. Oops and you could move it over if need be. And they pretty much have four teeth, most of them. That's how they're drawn. Um, and they're not drawn perfect at all. That's just option two. If you're someone who's smiling a lot and you wanna have your mouth open, this can be another version of your mouth. We would have to actually make it a little larger if we wanted to use this one. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here because Ms. Mayer wants this type of mouth for hers. So the next step would be our hair. And if you look at all the examples of hair, we have a lot of them, right? We have short hair, we have long hair, we have curly hair, we have spiky hair, we have hair that's parted, we have hats, we have hair that is just on top of our head. I'm going to show you um, a couple of different ways. So first, Miss Mayer's hair is, is brownish black. Um, I don't have bangs, but I kind of have hair like this. So it, again, is the pen tool, and you're gonna kind of just lay in some shapes here, okay, using the pen tool. Um, I'm gonna put some shapes in front. I'm going to follow the shape of the head. I'm not worrying, I'm not worrying about the hair that's behind me just yet. But I'm just gonna, it, and this can be absolutely messy, guys. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to look like cut paper. Now, I have to select the color for this. Black arrow, I'm gonna go over my swatches. Miss Mayer has pretty dark hair, so I'm gonna choose that dark brownish. And then I'm gonna do the other side. And guys, how you do this is completely up to you. It's your hair. 
it depends what your hair looks like. If you have long hair, like Miss Mayer, do the back part last. Get that front top, that shape in there first. Okay, then the back part, what we're going to do is we're just going to be super rough and kind of put There we go. Okay, select it with the black arrow. Object, arrange, send to back. Now this is behind. We'll worry about the body later. Um, so those of you that have curly hair, you can use circles. So let's say you have hair that is curly. I'm just gonna pretend like I have curly hair. I could just build all my hair with circles if I wanted to. Um, this would take you a little longer, but it's a great way to mimic curls. Okay, that's one way of doing it. Uh, Miss Mayer doesn't really have curly hair, so she's going to remove these now. If you uh, have short hair or spiky hair, you're going to do it the same way. You are going to take your pen tool, and let's say we're trying to mimic um, this hair right here. You would just take your pen tool, and you draw it the same way, however spiky your hair is. Okay, however much, however little you wanna put, it is completely up to you. Um, you can make it blonde, if you have red hair, um, if you have dyed hair and it's purple, it's blue, you can do whatever you like, okay? May have fun with the hair. Um, it's usually pretty messy. You can follow this circle if you want, or you can see this character here has all different circles. Take a look at your hair and see which one closely matches the characters here and mimic it. You can even put little highlights and shadows in the hair like they have here. We'll get to that later. Or my friends, what we can do is we can put hats on, which we will get to. Um, so right now, this is as far as I am going to go in this tutorial. Um, what we will do is we will come back and we will start to draw the body. And then after the body, what we will work on is the accessory. So if it's a beret or whether it's a hat, whether you wear glasses, whether you want jewelry. But in the next section, we're going to um, talk about the body and how to draw the body with shapes. Um, and also what you may want to do is look at your reference here and here and start to see what's going on. As you can see, I think my mouth needs to be brought down a little bit because their mouths are very low on their face. And I think my eyes, if I, you hold shift and you select both eyes, I'll get in there so you can see, shift, shift, and the little black line in between it. So black line, eye, eye, all holding shift. Um, it kind of looks like it needs to be brought down a little bit, perhaps even larger. If I hold shift, I can make it bigger. There we go. Now that looks more like a South Park character. So that's where I'm going to leave you for right now. There will be a part two to this where you can follow along. Remember, the most important part, file, save, and then you can save. I'm going to save onto my desktop. You can save wherever you need to, and then just save it with your name and South Park, and you will go back into this file in the next tutorial. Thanks, guys.